Hi, my name is Jason McCormick, and I'm the instructor here at Karate World in Surfside Beach, and I'd like to welcome you to class. We're going to do a short video on dojo etiquette, so when you come to class, you'll have a better idea of what to expect and what to do. Okay, the first thing I'm going to teach you is probably the most important move in the martial arts. It's called the position of attention, and it goes like this. Place your feet together, hands by your side, head and eyes forward. The reason this position is so important is because we're developing concentration and self-control. And those are two things you're really going to need to learn the martial arts. Next, we're going to learn probably the second most important move in the martial arts, which is the bow. The reason it's so important is because we're showing respect. We always want to start and end our training showing respect. So, we're at attention. We want to keep our back straight, arms by your side and you're going to bend at the waist and come up. You don't want to bow real sloppy and just, you know, you want, to, you want to try to make it nice and sharp. So we're ready to take this position of attention and the bow and we're going to use them to come into class. Okay, so you arrive at the studio and you're ready to have an awesome karate class. First, take off your shoes. Second, before we enter the training area. We're going to put our feet together, hands by our side, and do a nice sharp bow. The reason we bow when we come onto the floor, and also when we leave the floor, is to say, hey, this is a special place to me. This is where I come to try to make myself better, physically, mentally, learn life skills. So we're going to bow before we come on the floor, step onto the floor, we're going to have the best class ever, and when we're done, it's time to go home. As we're leaving, we're going to turn, and again, face our training area, and bow. You don't want to bow facing this way because we're not showing respect to the door. We want to show respect to our, to our dojo or our school where we train. So always turn and face this way. Show respect as you leave. Okay, next, I want to talk about what to wear to class. When you sign up, you'll get your uniform or your gi. So when you come to class, I like for you to wear either your full uniform with your gi top, belt, and pants, or you can wear a karate roll t-shirt or a tournament t-shirt. If you go to a tournament and get a shirt there, you can wear that to class too. If you wear a t-shirt, just tuck it in so you look nice and neat. If you're going to wear your gi top, then we need to talk about how to tie and wear that as, as well as your belt the right way. Okay, so if you're going to wear your gi top to class, we need to learn how to put it on. When you put your gi on, you put it on like a normal jacket. When you fold it, you want to take the right side and fold it first. Okay, and if you, if you, if you come to jiu-jitsu class, you won't have any strings. But if you're in your karate gi, they'll have strings. So when you fold over, you're going to tie this just like you tie your shoe. You're just going to tighten the bow. So, if you can tie your shoe, you can tie your gi. Then you're going to fold the left over the right. Usually there's a maker's tag on the left side. So if your maker's tag is visible, you know you're in, you're in the right ballpark. So I'm just going to make a bow over on this side, smooth it out, and then I'm ready to tie my belt. Okay, we're going to learn to tie our belts. I teach it two different ways, what I call the traditional way and what I call the neat way. I like the neat way because it makes my belt look a little neater. I'm going to teach the traditional way first. So the way I like to teach the traditional way is to fold the belt in half and right where my thumb is at the top, that's the middle of the belt. So I'm going to open the belt and put the middle of the belt right at my belly button and I'm going to wrap it around my back. Try to keep it as neat as possible. And I'm going to fold one piece over the top of the other. And this top piece, I'm going to tuck underneath. Smooth out your belt. And then make half knot. As you make your half knot, it should come out about the same. Fold your belt down nice and neat. And you're ready to go. Okay. Now, this is a great way 
but a lot of times, especially for beginners, and I made sure I did this on purpose, you're going to get a crisscross in the back. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. That's okay. However, if you want to try to make it a little neater, I like to make one side short. It is hard to say exactly how short because we're all different sizes and our belts might be different sizes. You have to play around with it a couple times. But normally right at the top of the knee works pretty well. And then you're going to just hold it in front of you and wrap the other side, the longer side, all the way around you. And then the rest of the tying process is the same. Top piece tucks under. Half knot. Make them come out about the same. So try both ways and see what you're comfortable with. But notice the back. It's nice and neat. So that's the way I like it a little better. Okay, so here are our belts. We have white, junior yellow, yellow, green, junior blue, blue, red, second degree brown belt, which is the solid brown first degree brown belt, and black belt. The first three belts, white through yellow, are the beginner ranks. The second three belts, green through blue, are the intermediate ranks. And the last three under belts, the red through the brown, those are advanced. Okay, so we live at the beach and traffic's crazy. And we're all gonna be late from time to time. If that happens, you owe me 300 knuckle push-ups. No, not really. If that happens, I want you to come in quickly and quietly, do your bow when you enter the mat, and while the rest of the class is on the floor doing whatever the drill is, you're going to come over to the side, you're going to sit in the formal sitting position, get your belt tied on, get ready to go, and wait quietly. When we're finished doing whatever we're in the middle of doing, I'll look at you and I'll say, hey, come on out and join the class. So. You're not really being punished, but what you're doing is you're being respectful to the rest of the class. Since you made it in a little bit late, you don't interrupt. And then we'll bring you on in and we'll get you started. Okay. So in closing, I just want to go over a couple of rules with you guys. Number one, always take off your shoes before you come on the mats. Okay? We like to have a clean area to train in, and if you walk in stuff all day and then track it all over the mats, nobody wants to lay on that mat and stretch or grapple or do anything else. All right? Number two is please never ever bring gum on the mats. One, if it gets on the mats, it's really hard to get off. And two, and more importantly, if you're on the floor training and you got a mouthful of gum and you get punched, kicked, or you yell and that gum goes down your throat, there's a really good chance you could choke. So no gum on the mats, please. Okay. Number three, talking. When you come in and train with me a little, you'll see I'm not, I don't try to run a, a boot camp here. Okay, I don't mind if you talk a little, as long as you keep it quiet and as long as what you're talking about has to do with what we're doing. You know, you can give your buddy a high five and say that was a nice sidekick or you hit the bag really hard. Nice job. That's okay. But you shouldn't be really loud and talking about going to the movies after class with your buddy and just being disrupted. That's not cool. All right. And next, your gi. When you come in, your uniform should be clean. Okay. You don't have to have creases down the pants, legs, and down the sleeves. I usually don't. But just make sure that your gi looks good and smells good. And last of all, for family members who might be in the lobby, please, if you have a, a crying baby or kids are getting loud, please take them out for a few to like calm down or if you have a cell phone, put it on silence or, or on vibrate so that class doesn't get interrupted. So, welcome to Karate World. We're really happy to have you aboard. Get your gi on, start practicing.